Well, it seems like it's another endless story when it comes to Kim Porter, an officer who fairly deleted Devontae Wright, re well, released him from prison pretty much yesterday after serving 16 months. It seems like it never stopped, folks. It seems like it never stopped. But before I go in, God, please make sure you subscribe to Kel Culture Radio. Remember, the link is on top of the chat. In the community time, and my community time, and also my bio. Remember, we go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock Eastern time with my good man, Prince Hakeem, and my good man, New Join Era. Hope to see you there. You guys do not want to miss the live stream when we go live. Now, yesterday live stream, we went live. You missed it. Go back over there and rewatch it. And now that I'm going to re premiere today on my page as well, so you can be able to watch it at 6 o'clock Eastern time. So, Make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to Kale Culture Radio. Yep, I got my heat hat on today because of the simple fact the heat won. And I think the Bucks pretty much going to get eliminated, uh, which I think what, the next two days, which will be, what, today? Probably by Friday? No, sorry. Yeah, Thursday. So, what a game. Congratulations to the heat. We're doing well. We're doing good. Hope we advance to the semi. So, that's all, that's all I'm worrying about right now. But before... This is you already know. This is not a sports commentary. This is pretty much about Kim Porter, and the, and the situation that transpired with her was that she completely deleted somebody, an innocent guy, because the simple fact was he was she was trying to get him out of the car and he didn't want to get out of the car, so she fairly shot him. Now she was just released from prison yesterday, but this is my thing is. Let's say it was another different corner part, they will probably have a hard time getting released from prison because of the simple fact, you know, she she's a woman, not only that, but she also is a white woman. And for her to fairly do something wrong to another gentleman, she supposed to be doing more time than, than 16 months. I think they pretty much, like I say, situation keeps transpired within the community, and I think they're going to hurt the community. And not only that, this is what makes the community not really trust law enforcement and not really trust the, uh, the justice system. Because if somebody fairly do something wrong, they're supposed to be held accountable for it. It doesn't matter what type of gender, race, or even sex. The person is supposed to be hold, held accountable because of the simple fact of what they did wrong. But for, for this lady here to be relieved from 16 months from prison for actually fairly deleting someone... She needs to be held accountable, and she needs to be more time than that. And I know at the end of the day, I won't be surprised she go back into law enforcement. I'm just, I'm mean, just, I'm just being totally honest, and I think that's the next goal that's going to happen for Kim. But us as a, us as a community, I think we really need, really, really need to evaluate the situation within our community, and we need to start holding these people accountable. Now, I'm not saying go over there and try to. Do any harm to her? I'm saying hold her accountable, meaning by going to the justice system and say, hey, your laws are unfair and it is not right. And of course, like always, I have the audio. Let's get to it. Four o'clock this morning, and that was in large part, according to the facility officials here, because of her safety, as there were elevated concerns leading up to today with threatening comments, as well as potential violent protests outside of the facility, which we have not seen yet today. Of course, this case still remains very controversial here. Uh, her release comes less than two weeks after the Wright family marked two years since Potter shot and killed him during a traffic stop. I remember, Potter argued she mistook her taser for her gun. Now, Potter will actually head to Wisconsin to serve out her remaining eight months under supervised release, which is part of an agreement Minnesota has with states around the country. Now, she'll have to adhere to a number of conditions that includes regular contact with an agent assigned uh, to her uh, to oversee her supervised release. She must also comply to random unannounced visits as well as searches of her property and regular drug and alcohol testing. And she also will not be able to buy any type of firearm or dangerous weapons. But new this morning, as of right now, Kim Potter is no longer here at the Minnesota Corrections Facility in China. So Kim Potter was released at about four o'clock this morning and that was in large part she was, released. she was released at four o'clock this morning now headed to wisconsin to serve out her supervised release mm -hmm. and pauline just to be clear she's serving six she served 16 months behind bars that's the law here in minnesota you get your sentence you get two-thirds of it behind bars and then the final third is that supervised release yeah those two terms are very similar but they're 
different here in Minnesota. In fact, I asked the corrections facility here just what is the difference, but it really boils down to it's more of a legal issue than a practical one. So Minnesota uses a determining sentence. There really is no parole board here. Another way to look at it is parole uh, supervision. That period is enforced by a parole board where a supervised release that's enforced by the court. So slight difference, but here in Minnesota, we call it supervised release. Pauline Lee, live person, Chakopee. Pauline, thank you. Chakopee, she was released. So, so here's the thing. Um, that would say, uh, we that would say us as a community. When I meet the black community, we won't stand for anything. And then something like this tries to transpire, we want to go out there and protest. We've been protesting for, for pretty much 60 years. I'm not gonna say 50 years, I'm gonna say 60 years because we like what 58, 59. So I'm gonna just say, I'm just riding out to 60 years. We've been protesting, and you seem like it doesn't do anything now. I'm saying in the 1960. It does make some change within America, but this is a whole different generation. And I think at some point, protesting need to start. It's time for us to really start putting into laws, into regulations for stuff like this. When it transpires to happen, we need to start holding them accountable. And we need to go to the justice system and say, no, she should not be released because of the simple fact she's still deleted someone. She, just, she need to be held accountable. Now, I understand accidents do happen. Accident does happen. It was an accident, according to her. But at the end of the day... People say by law enforcement and the way they're trained, they, un they understand that on this side, your taser is here and your gun is on your right side. So for her to automatically go on the right side, that means her mind was intentionally to delete that so to delete that, some that someone. And that's why she lost during the case because they even say that we train our law enforcement to know the difference between where's the taser and where's the, and where's the gun. So that's what I'm saying. At some point, when we gonna stop letting these people go free and start really holding them accountable? And this is why, like I like I say in my opening statement, this is why black people don't really trust the justice system, and that's why they take things matters into their own hands because it's at the end of the day, so if people don't get held accountable yet, we be held accountable, and it's not fair. At the end of the day, the civil rights movement was pretty much a movement was telling like, hey, things in America is not fair for us. While we still working and try to do better, you try. You guys are trying to hold us back. Same thing that happened back then is happening today. Certain things not working for us, and that's why a lot of people are. That's why black people are in an uproar because of the simple fact of certain things is not being held accountable for certain situation, especially when it comes to situation like this. When this lady made a mistake, but yet she's supposed to do more time than than sixteen months. And like I always say, just imagine it was the other person, on the other hand, like a black woman. On that case, she probably would have been life in prison with probably, probably no possibility of parole. And that's the problem. At the end of the folks, let me know what you think about the whole situation with Kim Porter. Uh, do you think she's pretty much supposed to be left? Do you think she's supposed to be free? Or do you, do you think she's supposed to be held more accountable I mean spend her remaining life in prison let me know what you think in the comment subscribe to Kelly Culture Radio remember link is on top of the chat in my community tab and also my bio we do go live each and every Monday Wednesday Friday 6 o'clock Eastern time hope to see you there I will be back tomorrow with more tape enjoy your day I'm over and out peace